What's up guys, welcome back to another Modern Warfare video. In today's video we're going to be talking about the Zombies Co-op Mode. And uh, we have some like definite details about what this co-op mode is going to be. So Infinity Ward did an interview with PlayStation Lifestyle about Modern Warfare, and they talked about the co-op mode and about Zombies. So Infinity Ward's campaign director, uh, he said in this interview, quote, But for us, we're trying to create an authentic, realistic feeling world. We don't have the flexibility to do something like put zombies in the game. That would compromise the feeling of playing in a world that feels realistic and authentic and relative to today's conflicts and things we face. Infinity Ward also talked about how Modern Warfare is going to have a unified experience uh, between all three modes and there will be progression uh, and different aspects that will be shared across the game's campaign multiplayer and co-op mode. So does this mean that like in the campaign you're going to be able to rank up in like prestige and stuff, same with like the co-op mode, but it's all going to be like one profile and one like rank? Or would it be something like Black Ops 3 where you had a separate rank, you know, you could rank up in the campaign in Black Ops 3, you could rank up in multiplayer and prestige, and then in zombies you could rank up in prestige as well. So we don't know exactly uh, about like what's going to happen with like the progression and stuff, but uh, basically what Infinity Ward is saying here is that they're not going to have zombies in Modern Warfare because they're trying to create like a realistic, like down-to-earth, grounded, color of the game kind of set in like literally modern times because one of the missions in the game actually takes place in October of 2019 so like four months from now is when the, the mission actually takes place so it's like the most modern Call of Duty game we've ever had and uh, they're saying that you know they want to have it be like a realistic you know down-to-earth shooter and they can't have like a story and you know like a, a campaign in a single player that like takes place you know kind of pretty much based in like reality but also have a, like a zombies mode in it like you can't have the two in a game together if you're trying to sell that like authenticity and realism but infinity wars campaign director also confirmed that the single player story will also like go right into the co-op mode you know tie into the co-op mode so he said we're not ready to talk about cooperative play yet but what i will tell you is that the single player storyline goes directly into the co-op storyline no stop the events just continue so those elements gameplay progression story they just continue throughout everything that we have on the disc or digital download. And we know a little bit more about uh, what this co-op mode is going to be because of the game's description. Uh, the game's description says that this co-op mode will feature elite operations for players to fight through. So he says that the campaign is just going to go right into the co-op mode. So like as soon as the campaign ends, you're going to be able to pick up right off where the campaign ended and just keep going with the, the co-op mode. So this really sounds a whole lot like Spec Ops. And uh, if you don't know what Spec Ops was, Spec Ops was a mode in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3 where it featured pretty much like segments from the campaigns of those two games as well as like new segments. So like you could relive some of those like same like things that were in those old games. So there was uh, a mission in uh, Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops that was pretty similar to Mile High Club. So it's basically like replaying sections of the campaign but you have like a, a specific objective and you're supposed to do it you know within like a certain time limit or on a certain difficulty or whatever that's what uh, spec ops was so it, it was like those certain little objectives within some of the campaign missions where say maybe you have to defend something you got to defend like a building or something it's like taking those elements and making it into like a proper like new like level just for that co-op and i think that's what this new co-op mode is going to be is going to be something just like that so i think it's going to be spec ops and uh, since we know that the the campaign is like you know really based off like counterterrorism and stuff, I think that uh, in the co-op mode, you know after the campaign is over, we're gonna have like side missions where you know you're going to like you know take down and hunt down some more terrorists or whatever or, like you know things like that, or you're you're gonna go find like a bomb maker or something like that, or you're gonna go infiltrate somebody's lab or something like that, you know like these little side missions. And I think that's what's gonna happen with this co-op mode. Because they say that, you know, the single player storyline goes directly into the co-op mode and that it will feature elite operations. So, you know, think of like the, uh, the, from Modern Warfare 2, when you're assaulting that oil platform, there's like a couple like Spec Ops missions in Modern Warfare 2 that actually like use that, uh, that level for it. So I think it's going to be stuff like that, you know, elite operations. So it's going to be things where, you know, you're going to have to do like, you know, room breaches and stuff like that. Like, lots of different operations and stuff like that. It's kind of interesting, though, because, like, the whole, like, segment of Spec Ops was really fun. I personally really enjoyed it, but it has almost zero replayability because as soon as you get done with all of them, you play through them once, yeah, you know, you might want to go back through and play through them all again on the highest difficulty and, like, get all the achievements, but 
Honestly, for me, I have every single achievement in Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 3, and I have not touched Spec Ops in Modern Warfare 2 or 3 ever since I got the final achievement. I haven't touched it in years now, uh, just because, I, I mean, there's no real purpose in like going back and visiting any of those Spec Ops missions, because what's the point? I have no objective now, there's no ranking up in it, there's no new like challenge or anything like that, it's just, I already did it, I completed it, so I'm done now. So. Hopefully that you can like kind of do something more to uh, to get you to like stay tuned with it because zombies really nailed down that replayability and if they just have a like another like mode just for you know basically doing spec ops or kind of like squads from Call of Duty Ghosts then barely anybody's gonna play it and everyone's just gonna basically stick with multiplayer or go elsewhere because currently in Call of Duty people uh, you know are kind of split between multiplayer zombies and even in black ops 4 it's blackout as well you know you got a big community within all three so if you know you've been playing multiplayer for a while you're like you know i'm getting tired of multiplayer multiplayer is kind of bs i'm gonna go play some blackout you play some blackout and it's a whole new like different experience you're like okay you know blackout's fun but it's getting a little old now and i'm gonna go play zombies you know you want to keep the player in the same game rather than like oh hmm i beat the campaign i beat all the you know the spec ops missions i play in multiplayer multiplayer's getting boring okay i'm just gonna go play Fortnite or something, you know? You want to keep them playing Call of Duty, and you have to do that by having a, you know, a replayable co-op mode. So zombies will not be a part of Modern Warfare, and it's kind of interesting though as well about, uh, like, how the campaign directly ties into the co-op mode. So Call of Duty Ghost technically did this, um, Extinction was technically kind of an addition to the campaign where even after you know, the campaign ended, one of, the, like, the Odin strikes actually landed in, like, Colorado and unearthed all of the cryptids, and that's what started the whole extinction thing. So it, it technically did, you know, continue on with the campaign, but it wasn't, like, directly right as soon as the campaign ended that it picked right up, and it pretty much forgot about the campaign ever since, like, the very first mission. After the very first, uh, you know, the extinction map, you know, point of contact, the game just, the, the mode just completely forgot about the campaign and just did its own thing and it was basically its own separate world. So this will be interesting. I am, I'm really leaning towards the fact that it's going to be some sort of Spec Ops mode, but uh, I think that, you know, man, they got to do something to make it more replayable because, yeah, if you just play it through it once, that's pretty much going to be it. You know, you play through it once, cool. You might play through it a second time on the highest difficulty. Yeah, awesome. All right, and then you never play the game mode ever again. So what do you guys think it's going to be down in the comments down below? I want you guys to speculate. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are on this. Are you guys excited to see Spec Ops come back? I personally am, but I want more to it. I want way more missions and like depth to it as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video. And give the video a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.